hi friends uh, welcome to the digital avenue uh, today i am going to show you how to install and configure nagios version 4 co-edition on centos 7 tested all these steps by myself before making this video uh, because i think this will uh, helpful uh, you all to install and configure nagios server without any error uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, if this help uh, for you uh, okay uh, now head over to installation guide before the installation begin uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, some uh, uh, introduction uh, Nagios is a uh, industry standard IT infrastructure monitoring solution uh, which is one of the most popular open source powerful server and network monitoring system uh, it enables organization to identify and uh, resolve IT infrastructure problems uh, before they affect into critical business processes. Uh, Nagios has a capability of uh, monitoring applications, services with an entire uh, IT infrastructure uh, which can monitor host resources such as CPU load, CPU usage, disk throughput, disk IOPS, uh, network speed and network throughput and final trigger uh, them via uh, trigger and alerts via email ok and now let's move on to uh, installation steps as the first step we need to disable SE Linux configuration uh, so we need to do disable uh, SE Linux and set into uh, and set into permissive mode using this command you can disable say Linux otherwise you can use set and for zero Uh, in these steps, initially we need to have a freshly installed CentOS 7 or Red Hat 7 operating system and then we need to update the system. As the next step, uh, we need to install required packages uh, such as uh, Apache, PHP, SNNP and some other packages. Using this command string, you can install their dependency packages. Okay, now uh, we are ready to install and compile uh, main Nagios core source package. Uh, before that, we need to create a directory called Nagios and move into that directory. In here, we need to download Nagios package. Now I am going to download using wget You can see all these steps uh, in a text article. Uh, you can see my website. Visit my website uh, using the URL. I will uh, put in the 
uh, video description now I'm going to extract my downloaded source package using this command now uh, let's head over to the directory called nagios co dash nagios now I'm going to compile nagios package using this command this may take a while uh, so you may need to wait for a while now I'm going to compile main program and their CGI fi files make all command this command also takes some time to execute all these package uh, package modules and their binaries sometimes you may have to wait a couple of minutes okay now we need to add add a group and user uh, which named nagios using this command it will create a group called nagios and user called nagios itself and we need to add our apache user into nagios group as well finally we need to install the main program with cgi files and their html files use make install command okay now we need to set up it as a uh, service or daemon use this command to do that using this command it will start at the boot and then we need to set permission for the directories of the Nagios server and then we need to install sample configuration files them uh, reside on user local Nagios etc directory and then install apache config files for Nagios web interface Finally, we need to install Nagios web interface theme. At this time, I am going to use exfoliation theme. By default, it will install classic theme, but in this case, I am going to install this exfoliation theme for my Nagios web interface. either you can use this command to install classic theme and then we need to allow uh, port 80 which is apache web server port through the firewall and then reload the firewall and we need to create a user for login into Nagios web panel use this command to uh, set up user and password at this time I'm going to use Nagios admin as my username you can use any username whatever you like in here and press enter the password and then we need to start Apache service and enable and we need to enable Nagios service as well finally 
we need to restart the service to reflect all these changes check whether it's working okay now uh, Nagios core server installation has been completed now you can log into Nagios web interface through the web browser now let's head over to web browser I'm going to type my Nagios server IP 10.50 forward slash Nagios okay it will ask for username and password okay this is the main web console of the Nagios core edition in here you can see there are some host available here but please note you will notice some error under this section even though we have installed Nagios server correctly and it's running as it is without an error but you, you, you will see some error in here there's no showing up any stats by now and it says that it's down the this host and services as well uh, so we need to install Nagios plugin to fix this issue so let's uh, start to install Nagios plugin on the Nagios server now I am going to install Nagios plugins uh, using yum repository so before that we need some uh, we need to install some prerequisites I will mention all these uh, steps and commands in the description you can copy and paste as you wish I'm going to install net SNN people package as well now we are ready to install Nagios plugin in this case you can find out any package whatever you want using yum search Nagios plugins in here you can see there are many official Nagios plugins available here for the disk check DHCP and SSH all these uh, in this case I am going to use this command to install all the package at once okay now plug plugin installation has been completed uh, now head over to web console in here you will notice a path as it says there is no plugins available in this directory let's let's check whether it's in this directory let's move into that directory you will notice still there is no any package installed in this directory so we need to copy all the plugins from somewhere else because that I am going to use this command to copy those plugins into my Nagios directory now let's head over to that directory okay now 
plugins are available then we need to restart uh, Nagio service and Apache service Okay, now check whether it's working and running as, as it is. Apache server is running well. Nagio is also running well. Okay, now let's head over to web browser. Okay, now you can see uh, previously it's shown as a uh, localhost is down but now it's see as a up and uh, ping ok there's no any error appears in here by now let's check within the service section seems like it's uh, one by one it's uh, going to be resolved itself sometimes it may take a while to uh, check these services itself so uh, we have to wait a uh, few minutes uh, so I think uh, it will all it will be okay uh, after a few minutes later now you see here uh, errors were gone by now uh, in the host section let's move on to services now you will see there's no any error appeared in here uh, as like before so I think this may helpful for you to uh, do your Nagios installation yourself so please don't forget to subscribe me if this is helpful for you